Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to the nightly news. We are January 28th, 1547. Here are the titles. One of the most famous kings in Europe, Henry VIII, just died today. Now comes the question of the successor, Edward VI. We're going to talk about all this just after the titles. Intemporary still continue today on the coast of Black Rocks. We are going to go and see Michelle's siblings that is going to give us a heads up on the situation in that city. First of all, let's go to Black Rocks, where Michelle Siblings is waiting for us to give us a heads up on the stormy situation in Black Rocks. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Don't take risks on treacherous roads. And don't swim in the sea. Incredibly, people have been spotted in the water here in Black Rock and Salt Hill, both today and yesterday. Okay, well, I hope, we hope that Michelle's sibling is all right. Um... Passing on quickly, we're going now to talk about the second subject of tonight's news. The death of Henry VIII, Michael Barbaro, Michel Kuniswin. Today, January 28th, 1547, marks the death of King Henry VIII, King of England, one of the most famous kings of the Middle Ages and beginning of the Renaissance. He marks the change from the Middle Ages to the English Renaissance and Protestant reforming. He is mostly famous for his six marriages with Catherine of Aragon, daughter of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain, with whom he had a daughter, Mary. He also considered her as the love of his life. He also got married with Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, Anne of Clevis, Catherine Howard, and Catherine Parr. Because of the Catholic Church, he could not divorce from his wives, so he decided to go to Rome and tell the Pope that the Church of England would separate from the Catholic Church and become the Church of England. And also, Henry would become head of that church. Henry is known for his radical changes in the English Constitution using increasingly repressive means to quell any dissent. He achieved many of his political aims through the work of his chief ministers, Thomas Wolsey, Thomas More, Thomas Cromwell, Lord Richard Rich, and Thomas Cranmer. He also converted the money that was formerly paid to Rome into royal revenue. Despite the money from these sources, he was constantly on the verge of financial ruin due to his personal extravagance as well as his numerous costly and largely unsuccessful wars, particularly with King Francis I of France, Holy Roman Emperor Charles V, King James V of Scotland and the Scottish Regency. He also was the first English monarch to rule as King of Ireland following the Crown of Ireland Act in 1542. Henry's contemporaries considered him as an attractive, educated and accomplished king. He has been described as one of the most charismatic rulers to sit on the English throne. While the whole royal family and the whole world is mourning King Henry VIII. A new king is now on the English throne, King Edward VI. So long live to King Edward VI and long live the English monarchy. A little movie produced by Michael Barbaro and Michelle Connorsby. I just had word that Michelle sibling is back on her feet and is ready to talk to us about the stormy situation in Black Rocks. Michelle Sibling, please talk to us about the stormy situation. I'm here at Barry Island Beach and there's no time to stop! 
So we hope that Michelle sibling is okay again. Unfortunately, it is time to end this nightly news. We wish you a wonderful evening, a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.